In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of symmetric and skew symmetric matrices. We have already seen nearly six problems on the same and we also know what is meant by symmetric matrix, what is meant by skew symmetric matrix. In this video, we are supposed to see the next numerical problem. Let's see what the question has to say and let's get started with the solution. The question says that if A is a given matrix and A is equal to A transpose, which of the following options is true? That means you already have a given matrix. You also have a condition that yes, the matrix is equal to its transpose. There are four options, namely A, B, C, D and you have to find out which option fits in, which option is true. The solution heading is already written. Let's see this condition. A is equal to A transpose. A is what? A is the given matrix that is H, P, Q, 0. What will be A transpose? A transpose basically will be another matrix wherein the rows will be interchanged with columns. The columns will be interchanged with rows. So it becomes H, Q, P, 0. Right? Now you already have A. You have found out A transpose. The question says these both are equal. So what is equal to what? 8 P Q 0. That means A is equal to the next matrix, which is 8 Q P 0. Now compare. 8 is equal to 8. We already know. From here, P and Q must be equal. From here again, Q is equal to P. That means P and Q must be equal and 0 and 0 are already equal. So what is the next condition that we have found out? We have basically found out that yes, P is equal to Q from the above condition A is equal to A transpose and this analysis. Now which option tells me that P is equal to Q? Let's check. First option, P plus Q is equal to 5. No, not at all. Next option, P is equal to Q. Yes, the option number B is my answer to this question wherein we were given the condition that yes a matrix is equal to its transpose that means it is a symmetric matrix we found out the condition yes p is equal to q the other options are all vague p is 5 q is 0 not possible not exists similarly none of these would not be the answer because we have found out one answer p is equal to q 